This is Retro Arc Live with Ben and Mark at the con for the Heroes and Villains. I have another Mark with me, a man that um, used to flex his muscles many years ago with uh, Beastmaster and flexed his muscles once again in uh, the show called V and of course everybody knows the new uh, version of V as well. Mr. Mark Singer, how are you, Mark? I'm glad to be here. How are you guys? Very well, very well. Very good. Very well. Good. good. Well, well, Thanks yeah. for taking the time out to have a chat to us. Yeah, I like this. I also like the weather. It's beautiful here. It's actually be yeah. Literally a week ago, yeah. it was like freezing your bum off. Yeah. I got here in time for the big sheets of lightning and the... Uh, oh, you got, you know, the, got the, um, the storm happening, did you? Yeah, yeah. That was good. Oh, was good. wow. Exciting. So how long are you here for? Uh, just here for this uh, Heroes and Villains convention and a couple of days, and then I'm going to head back to L.A. I've got some uh, work to catch up on there. Okay. The second time for me in Australia. Yeah. First time uh, I spent uh, an entire summer in uh, Brisbane uh, on the Gold Coast working on the Beastmaster, the television series that was being filmed here. Oh, yes. And we were yeah. just mentioning before that you actually said Brisbane proper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and the Gold Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, educated import. That's what we like. <laughs> and we like that idea. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, you know, I, it, it, Australia is an amazing place. I think that anybody who comes here is going to take away more than they bring. I don't care how uh, enriched they may seem on the surface, because this is an amazing country. And, uh, well, and I have to say that the, that the citizens and the society uh, are, in a, in a way, exemplary that I, I wish the rest of the world would uh, sort of sneak and take a quick peek at, because uh, it, it's pretty amazing. Well, We've got to nominate much. this guy for the UN. Oh, I think we should. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Or even honorary Australian of the Year. Well, well, you're, done. you're out of there. Yeah, bugger that, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you want, me in a position of making decisions, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jeez. Well, well, it, well, look, just think about it if we put Bernie in. Later. Bernie Capra Later. No, 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 no. You, you've, you've chatted to Bernie a few times. I have yeah, chatted to Bernie. In fact, I, I worked on uh, years ago. I, I was a, a guest star on the Love Boat, and, uh, the, and love so, boat. the Love Boat, and I, I, uh, I met all of those people from uh, from years yeah. ago. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a lovely man. I, yeah, I sang is. the Love Boat thing to him yesterday, and he yeah. just looked at me and went, "Oh God." <laughs> I know. I think because you're tone deaf. Yeah, you got. You got yeah, there it is. And I was wondering. I winced too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. this is great. Oh, yeah, you fine, right. buggies. <laughs> Charming you are. Hey, you take over. No, no, no. no, right. no, no. <laughs> so what are you doing with yourself these days, Mark? You know, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm still acting, I'm still writing, I'm still directing. I wrote for a while for The Young and the Restless. Uh, I still continue to you appear. Sure you want to say something about The Young and the Restless here in Australia? Why? It's kind of like, you Why? know, the, the, the housewives just, you know... They like that? Oh, God, help me. Oh, yeah, you see. That and Days of Our Lives. Well, ah. that was just the thing. I reached a stage where you had Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, Young right, and the Restless, right. Bold and the Beautiful sort of thing. It was a four-hour yeah, four span yeah. every afternoon. Yeah. I'm sure if you just took the credits out yeah. and just have daytime soap at the start and right. just roll a full list of credits at the end, nobody would notice the difference. There you go. <laughs> Maybe that's just a male perspective. I don't know. So if I, in other words, if I walk down the street with a sandwich board with that Young and the Restless credit on, then I can make friends. Oh, absolutely. So there you go. <laughs> There'll be a lot of milfs, but yeah. it's, it's all right. <laughs> and there's a problem with that? No, not at all. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> ah, wow, is it warm in here or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mark. Well, we like that. <laughs> the other Mark. Yeah. We like that. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Did, we yeah. had that effect we, on people. Uh, yeah. We try to. Mm, darling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So you wrote for for um, for them for a while. Yeah, I wrote for them for a while. I'm still uh, I'm still uh, uh, writing and I'm still uh, directing and acting and and uh, and currently I'm uh, I'm writing a book on of all things Shakespeare. And, uh, oh, Shakespeare. Wow. Yeah, that's been the underpinning. Or I don't I know the rest of the line. I just don't remember who says it. So then. Uh, no, I can't either. Yeah, that's uh, we've reversed the old Jack Benny joke. He says to be, and then he pauses and looks out over the audience, and the and the prompter yells from the wings, or not to be, and he says, I know who's I know the line. Who says it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, um, Mel, uh, Mel Brooks. That's, that's a sequil soliloquy out of Henry the <laughs> Fourth. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look at this. This, yeah. this fellow here's got a, got a lot of um, ancient knowledge. You can tell that by the by, look by the age. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah. it is. You know what I mean? This is only you young. See, on the, on the Mark Singer's only young. You're, 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 you're an old fart. Yeah, but I'm the educated one out of two of us too. Well, well I, I won't tell the I won't tell the original author of Hamlet then out of which that line actually. <laughs> no, he was a good mate of mine. Yes. He was a good mate of mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, your beard's, so, not, yeah. your beard's not that great. No, no, so, not, not yet. I know, I just had a haircut done. Uh, yes, only because yes. the wife gets no, He's only got two young go. children at this point in time, you see. Yeah. Hence is the reason why his beard's not that grey. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, you know when, yeah. they, when they get, get to yeah. the age of my kids, 14 right. and 18. Right. Uh, uh -huh. 
Oh, no, I'll be used to it, buddy. I'll be right. So, anyway. I used to be. I used to be a lot younger. I've got a. I've got a, a daughter that's 21, and uh, that, that's what's happened to my face. Yeah. 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 Oh, mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Know exactly how you feel. Mine's 18. Yeah. yeah. So what have I got to look forward to? Yeah. Oh, I think you'll be a lot. But you want to. You want to work on uh, on your grip so that you can really squeeze your temples hard. Yep, as yep, uh, yep. as those problems get <laughs> more and more I sophisticated. Thought, I thought you'd be more talking about her throat. <laughs> no, no, I was talking oh, about no, your boyfriend's throat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, you don't do that. You get a you get a rifle, and you <gasps> and you you never threaten. You just clean the rifle. And oh, you just okay. clean it, and you say. Have a great time. Stay out as late as you like, and, oh. you, and you just clean the rifle. I see. Oh, it's the bluff technique. It's the bluff technique. I love never, that one. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, yeah. I actually, yeah. I, was, I was thinking of that with my Bowie knife. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, give, just sharpen the Bowie it. knife. Yeah. Okay, guys. Oh, look. Yep, yep. Nice to meet you, young fella. Yep. Um, have a good night. Yep. And if you're home late, I'll be up. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Is that the way it goes? Yeah. Nice and easy. Very well, nice on doing the hand actions, even yeah. though we don't have a um, camera. It's all good, huh? It's I wondered old. what you were doing. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, 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 geez, well, I'm you're a good-looking bloke. Uh, yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, it is getting close in here. It is indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So, in, 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 the, in, in the near future, oh, as right. in the uh, present, right. So, right. Um, you're still writing and so forth. That's yeah, I've right got on. a couple of films coming out this year. One of them is called House Hunting. It's a kind of... Um, uh, a psychological thriller. It has uh, has sort of tones like uh, Friday the Thirteenth, but it's uh, oh, okay. it's uh, it's a little more psychological than it is uh, gore. Yep. And uh, and then I also have a comedy, thank you, called uh, um, the um, uh, Last Resort Hotel. Oh, so, Last Resort Hotel. Yeah, that sounds really fun. cool. Yeah. It sounds like you're slowly being typecast. Yeah. House hunting. Last Resort about a hotel. Yes. You know, it's a... Exactly. They're now, all. There we go. You know, we should be going. You know, property one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and um, then uh, and then for the for the action genre domestic violence. Absolutely. There we are. There you go. Well, I'm not in. not home alone, but <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. I'm in for that. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was a good writer. <laughs> <laughs> you got a better body than work than what the we have. That's yeah, that's doing. absolutely true. Uh, we just do community radio, but but we enjoy it. We've been doing it for twenty years now. Yeah, I, I envy the uh, I envy the constancy of uh, of your audience, and I envy the uh, uh, the position that you have of being able to address the same community and grow along with it. I think it's a great thing. We love it. We yeah, do. We, yeah. we enjoy it. We were, yeah. uh, did commercial radio for a little while, and then we came back to community radio only yeah. because yeah. we really couldn't be ourselves on commercial radio. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah. And what we do now. Now is we're able to just get out to the people and yeah, see, I think that's have fun a, with with our show. That's you know? a real humanist point of view, and I, I, I like that. I support that. I I, I try in my own work, uh, whether I'm playing uh, villains or heroes, doesn't matter to me. I always try to do something uh, that shows uh, the loss of a sense of community that produces people who uh, act out in ways that are inappropriate or uh, the sense of defending community in, uh, in the roles that I play where the, where the actions of the, of the character that I play are more, are more heroic or more positive. So yeah. it's always about community one way or the other. Yeah. 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 You've done a lot of TV, done a lot of movies. Have you done any much stage? I, I, I had my start on stage, and in fact, that's why I'm, that's why I'm writing a book on Shakespeare is because yeah. uh, from the, from literally from grade five uh, until present, uh, that has been uh, my fascination, uh, obviously getting more sophisticated uh, as, as my own uh, sophistication within the industry and within the arts grows. Um, uh, but everything I do on film, everything I do as an artist in any endeavor, I'm, I'm a, a bit of a composer and a, and a painter, uh, and, uh, but all of it comes back, oddly enough, to Shakespeare. So yes, it's it, the stage was where I began. Beautiful. Just wor- just working off that stage and yeah. c- doing the comparison. Obviously, with right. TV you get ratings, with movies you find out about crowd audiences right, and right. ticket sales and all that. Yeah. Stage you get the immediate effect right. as, for the feedback straight yeah. off. Yeah. Have you changed some of the styles occasionally on a stage when you're performing a role based on what the audience is giving you back? If the audience is really receptive, you sort of really run hard. If something's not working right, you might change the mood of the character slightly. You know, did, how, how hard is it and how easy is it to adapt a role based on what the, what the audience is giving you on the night? It's, a, it's an excellent question. And, I, and I, I, the responsibility always lies in the performers. It's our responsibility if an audience seems to be more difficult 
uh, mm. from evening to evening. Uh, the adjustments that you make uh, are the adjustments uh, within that context. Sometimes you get audiences that are more fragmented in their in their responses than yep. others. Um, uh, but uh, the basic uh, responsibility that when you you have when you go on to the stage is um, is to make the audience excited enough to jump up out of their seats yeah. every moment. Absolutely. And if you're not doing that, you're not doing it right. Um, as far as changing styles and adapting from film to stage, there are obviously different techniques mm. that you have to use because film is so um, microscopically intimate, you know. Yep. Yes. Uh, it's almost like an x-ray to your soul. Uh, and on the stage, you have to reverse that process and beam it out and engulf the audience with that. So there are, there are certain technical uh, differences, but the bottom line is um, that we are, as actors, even what we're doing right here, our yeah. interaction, we're yeah. all in the entertainment business, we're all reaching out to the public right now in the sense of the community that you represent. That's correct. Yeah. We are in, in a, a strange, very basic way connected to the earliest shaman that stood in front of a stone wall at night with the bonfire flickering yeah. our shadows large behind us and holding an audience, we hope, captive with something, something that that's will... Something that's going to bring their, their emotion, their minds to you. Right. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah to I, enlighten, enlighten them enlighten and, them, and bring correct, community yeah. to us all. Again, we come back to that word community. Sure. Yeah. I, I did a lot of functions right. as a yeah. DJ and as a band. So in capturing the audience and so forth, I do comprehend what you mean by that. Right. Each time you go to a different show, right. it's a different set of people. Oh. Hello, we got Fraser just turned in. Fraser. Yeah, guy yeah, Fraser. Yeah. Hey. Also, also in my bottle of Gallifrey. Hey, well, hey. awesome. Well, Sorry. crack that open and let's pass it around. And let, uh, let's get let's get the tartar happen. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. I'll go ahead and lie down on the floor in preparation. Um, <laughs> Hang on, because that's leaving. where I'm going to end up. I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> Uh, and it's it's interesting to hear you hear you speak that way about uh, about your own uh, uh, concept of the profession, because what it comes down to in the performer is your sense of community responsibility. Absolutely. What are you doing it for? Are you doing it for yourself, or are you doing it for a larger reason? Excellent. And when we do the radio, it's completely different. Yep. As you said, we've got to protect ourselves right. to the people. Right. Where uh, when we're doing a gig, it's you're in front of the people, yeah. and you can work with the people that are around you. Yeah. But whilst we're behind that microphone, we turn it on. We have have no feedback we have nothing so we've got to feed of what we believe that people are out there uh, are giving right. us some hoping right. that right. we're going to get yeah and then hoping that whatever it is that you bring to them is of a contributory value absolutely right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, yeah. well thank you very much mark it's been thank an you, absolute mate. pleasure it's been mate. pleasure thank, yeah, for thank you yeah. it's, it's been awesome mate. To see you back here in the country again nice shaking hands with both of you uh, wait wait i was wearing a ring so uh, mark Mark, I've got my Mark. own, thank you very much. Mark, Mark. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh, it was under your foot. Here, I got it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Mike. No worries. Mark, you got to watch this, Blake. you got to watch. See, Mark is a Mark, you see. This is a different type of Mark. you got to watch him. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll say my, I'll make my, my goodbyes right now. Thanks very much for inviting me. I'll head toward the door. Let me just check to make sure I have my wallet with me. Oh, yeah, I still got it. Okay. That's all right. No worries. No, damn. On. Damn, I missed that. Oh, you found the wallet. <laughs> hey. But he, he doesn't know the credit card's gone. Shh. Okay. Shh. <laughs> God, this thing feels lighter.